morning folks Kevin here well it's October 5th 2024 I think we're gonna have a pretty nice day today and uh, I'm gonna do some work up in the uh, first food forest but we're here right in between the uh, the upper beaver pond and this is the lower beaver pond here this is one of the beaver crossings right here going across this pond is a little bit over six foot uh, lower in level than the upper beaver pond. This is the largest beaver pond we have, the largest pond we have on the property. And what I thought I'd do is, uh, I need to recharge the batteries in the drone. Uh, so in a future video, I'm gonna try and, it, it's a calm, beautiful day today, morning, and uh, and what I'll have to do is see if I can charge up the batteries on the drone and, and do a drone update of the pond system since it's fall and we have all the colors going on here. So this is the lower, lower beaver pond right in here. And the lowest beaver pond is to our left over here, which is hard to see because we've got so much growth. And this is the road that I widened out some. So Lower Beaver Pond goes quite a ways around down in there. And one of their channels is right up over here. This is one of their channels that they keep clear. And then they make their way right up over here, back and forth every night. They work all night long. You can see the, the limbs and all that they drag back and forth. So the Energizer Bunny commercial should use beavers. They're uh, much more efficient. But what I thought, I brought some rocks down. So every, <clears throat> every day as I'm working in any of the food forests or the gardens and I get rocks, I throw them in Pepe here and then I come down and put them into one of the sections that we drive across here. But this is the, uh, the pond that I uh, excavated this summer and fall walk over to the edge these are tree tubes for those people who have questions inside of the tree tubes are swamp swamp oaks and so this is the pond that i excavated here we'll take a walk right around and see it you can hear the canada geese they're in the lower pond right now well, here they come Those are all the babies that we had here in our property all season long. So this is these are the areas that I did all the excavated. I put this this channel in here a couple years ago, and then this year we cleared and dug out that whole area. And recently I've been doing all the transplants in here. And we'll just take a walk around there so you can see. So a lot of the transplants were aquatic species and then we uh, took all our marginal plants from the other ponds bit by bit and uh, put those in here. Here's the spillway. So the water is running constantly, I don't know, it'd be easier to see over here. So water is running in uh, from... Uh, from the natural spring up over there. We'll take a walk over there. Hopefully the camera's showing things okay. And these are all areas I excavated out this season. I saved a lot of the uh, swamp ferns in here. And these are all some of the marginal plants that I planted several different places and they were all flattened out now you can see some of them are starting to shoot up some each one of these places marginals all over there as well you 
Here's one of the native high bush blueberry tree uh, bushes that I transplanted. Another one here is a cherry here. Several cherries that the beaver haven't bothered yet. So it's quite a transition from the way things actually started. A lot of fill went in here so I could have a, a way of driving around in here. These were a lot of the potted trees that we had in our nursery. So there's a lot of potted trees in here as well. And around the margins are some, some of our native trumpet vines. Here's another one here that I just put in yesterday and one there. Some more of the high bush, oh, sorry about that with the camera. Some more of the high bush blueberry plants that I put in here. There's some dogwoods, we'll see if they make it. Their root structure wasn't as good. Another high bush blueberry. Some of the potted plants all the way around in here. Some peaches, uh, pears, lots of maples. All around in here. So this was channels going back and forth all through here that the beaver had been going back and through so there was real low spots and so a lot of the trees were just about dead like this maple here but we filled in soil around it so hopefully this maple will survive. Question about this dogwood I just put in. More marginal plants all around in here. It's quite a nice place to come down here. And these are all marginal plants that I put in down in this area. And a few loads of wood chips I brought down, the boulders. Gathered the, those up from different spots on the property. Put another one of the vines next to the, one of the trees the beavers are taking down. Hopefully next year I'll get to working over there. I have some more work to do there. We want to disturb as, as little as possible all of the native forest areas in here. But since this was all uh, torn up and the beaver had harvested all the trees in this area, we dug up all the root balls and decided to, to put in uh, a more expansive pond in this area. So, more of the small trees. Another small peach. So, and I did not put any seed down in here yet. And the roadways, and I've been filling in some of those little uh, areas, lot areas. It's going to be the future when I get a chance to work on that. Lots of poison ivy, uh, grapevines, and lots of ash trees in there as well. But I took a lot of the fill and filled in some of the low spots. So we do have a couple of vernal pools over there, which are really necessary. So I have more wood chips I've got to bring down here as well. I'll be bringing down some more transplants. Uh, I'll get to it when I can get to it. All the frogs love this little uh, spring-fed area that comes down and then feeds into the pond over here as well. So, pretty happy with how this has come out so far. I'm done working down here except for putting in some more transplants in here and plant, planting some seed over there as well. So, thought I'd make a quick update on where the pond's at down here. Pretty happy with the progress we've made. And it'll take two, three years before this really starts to declare itself and say, what's going to make it here? What are the beavers go beaver going to do in here? What other niche uh, habitats are going to be created in here? Uh, 
we just love nature and the wildlife and all the abundance and uh, and trying to make sure that as we establish these areas we're putting in all the different zones as well so that it can be multiple ecosystems uh, throughout the area pretty important to us anyways so so that's an update on the pond system I came down here this morning and said well what the heck the winds are calm make a short video about where we are with this beautiful pond really appreciate your comments and questions and you're viewing our channel that really means a lot we appreciate it we hope some of the things that we do around here are of value to you uh, maybe some inspiration maybe a little information and give you some ideas thanks so much for watching stay safe and take care bye bye now